Hey yo, what's up guys? It's Jay here. We're gonna be doing a 2D motion tracking tutorial on After Effects CS5 or whatever After Effects you're using. And oh my god, this is just great. You can use Twixter footage or anything. It's great. See, it's Twixter and everything. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make this a little bit fast. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need um, the Foundry. Uh, whoops, the Foundry's camera tracker 1.0 and there will be a link for that in the description as well as a tutorial for that so don't worry um so yeah gonna add that effect and then you're going to go ahead and get started so we're gonna just see this menu here and click track features um what this will do is it will put all the points or well, it'll track all the motion inside your footage and once you track your motion uh, you're gonna click solve camera and then create and then you're gonna move on to creating your scene but we'll get onto that in just a few minutes so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip uh, ahead of this because it's just gonna do this tracking process uh, it's gonna go all the way down the timeline and it's gonna go all the way back so it's gonna take about double the time that it needs to take so yeah I'm gonna skip ahead alright so as you can see that it's almost done tracking and I just want to let you guys know that this clip can be 59.9 FPS or it can be 29. It can be either FPS, I mean, it could be any FPS. I mean, you don't want it to be really low, of course, but, you know, this isn't like Buju. Buju is really picky about its FPS and video, but this is much easier. So, um, as you can see, it is... Now it is finished. So once it finishes uh, tracking its features, you'll see it made a bunch of orange track points <laughs> showing all the motion so now what you want to do is click solve camera so now it's going to solve and it'll give you this little solve reference frame blah 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 so just click OK and it'll do that and it'll make all the tracking points green and the red ones are the tracking points that you cannot track uh, obviously they're red so then you're gonna click create scene which will basically it will create a camera and a null object the camera is what has all the 3d in it and the null is what basically will contain the objects information so you're gonna go ahead and uh, if your points disappear by the way like I just did now I'm just gonna click solve camera again and it'll just bring them right back so don't worry uh, we're gonna find a point in here where I want it to be tracked. So in my in the face sprat montage, I had it tracked to I believe it was this point here. We'll make sure. Yep, we had it tracked to this point here on the fence. So we're gonna go, go ahead and click the fence. Uh oh yeah, by the way, uh you're gonna go ahead and click it and then control click it. So you're gonna hold down control and click it, and then ground plane and then or select origin. So once you've done that, it'll make the uh, null object, it'll set the null object, or that red box right there, to be tracked right onto that point. And uh, what it did was the camera allows it to move with the object perfectly. So you can see that it even changes its view as well. Alright, so on with this, we're going to put a, some text in there to make it say... 2D tutorial. 2D type. Let's do that. So we're going to make this red like a. You know, cool, cool, bro. Alright. And uh, let's also add a glow. Make it look kind of cool. Make glow, yeah. So, okay, you got your text here, but uh, it's not tracked now, is it? So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select your text, right click it, and then click 3D layer. As soon as you do that, it is already tracked. So now you can see that it made it uh, a Y, a Z, and an X uh, input. What you can do is you can move it anywhere you want. The Z allows you to move it back or forward. And what I want to do is I want to move it back. I want to move it so it's. I want to move it so that it's right on the fence, pretty much. Like right about here. And move it down a little so you can see it more. As you can see, it's tracked almost perfectly. And if you have to, you can just resize the text, or just rescale the whole actual thing using the uh, 
by pressing S and scaling it right here. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get on. And you'll see that it is in front of the tank. We don't want it in front of the tank now, do we? But you can see, we, I still have to move it a little. There we go. So you can see that it runs right into it, basically, and runs right under it, which is what makes a really cool looking effect. It looks like it's actually in the map. So, uh, let's make it so that it's behind that tank there. We're just going to go ahead and click Control C, and then Control V on your original footage, which will copy and paste the footage. So, we'll just wait up for a second. Alright, so now right here on this footage here, we're going to go ahead and move it up at the very top above your 2D tut or whatever your text is. And then we're going to go ahead and go to, you'll see that you still have this camera tracker crap on here. You want to go ahead and delete that effect. So we deleted it now. Now you can see that that's been deleted and it is now ready to crop out this here. Just go ahead and select the pen tool, bro. And uh, just crop this out. You want to try and make it as perfect as you can. And give it the best effect. Now, if you're using a different cinematic and it has a ton of objects in the way, that's going to be a little bit more difficult, but you'll understand. So after you've connected all your points, it will now have cropped that out, and you can see that it is successfully in front of the of the text or the object, whatever you have there. So uh, now you're going to see that it needs to be keyframed to move along with that uh, specific object. So you want to go ahead and select your cropped out footage and, and press M on your keyboard. And now you can see that you can now keyframe by clicking on the mask path stopwatch, which will allow you to move your cropped out footage so you can go ahead and press control uh you press control left uh, right arrow and now you can go ahead and move this so just move it along now you don't want to do it all frame by frame if it's just going to be like that so we're going to go ahead and skip through and move it as it has to be moved and you can see that I'm just I'm not making it fit perfectly I'm just making it fit where it needs to be fitted like see where the T right there needs to be so that's what's cool about cropping in front of text it's, it's really simple and it doesn't take them that much time so you can see that we're already done. <laughs> now we're just going to go ahead and uh, once you've already got it out of the way, you're going to move this all the way over here. So then it won't get in the way of anything else. And now we're just going to go ahead and watch this for a second. So you could kind of see that it... Uh, it was in front at the very beginning since it was so fast you don't really need to put in much detail but if you need to you can go ahead and click on this little down arrow and click mask feather and make it go up a little so then it'll give it a feather effect on the outside and now let's just let's add a little more objects in now once you've already tracked it once, you don't have to track it again, which is what's really cool about this. For Buju, it's a little bit difficult, you know, because you're doing 3D tracking. So let's go ahead and import what I use for almost every dang clip, that uh, little target thing. Now this here is going to be either behind or in front of this text. So let's go ahead and move it. Uh, you want to do is you want to click on this and do what you did with the text and click 3D layer which will already be tracked to the footage luckily so you don't have to worry now it'll just be uh, right here 
Now, as, as hard as this might sound, it's really simple. I know I make it sound a little difficult because I'm freaking retarded. But, <laughs> stork lens. Uh, this is just me adding some effects. You don't do this, but it's a really cool effect, I guess. Scale. Oh, yeah, by the way, I didn't have different color ones, so all I do is I just go to color correction and then toner. And I just click this and make it purple. Alright. Oh, look at that. It's already tracked. Oh. Let's move this behind it. Oh, check this out, guys. Look. It's already been done. And now, if you're really feeling, if you're really feeling it, click layer, new, and then light. Now, since it's a 3D, the light will actually do something. So, you can see that I added the little shadow effect up in here. It looks like it's actually in the footage. And actually, I think we're pretty much done. So, uh... Now, before we do anything else, I'm just letting you know here. Uh, if you know how to, uh... Use Cinema 4D, and you know how to make an image sequence, you can actually import 3D image sequences. Uh, so, which I already have for the face Sprat. And, uh, it was this, um... 3D headshot thing here. This is an image sequence. It's uh, actually just a bunch of images in a sequence uh, from Cinema 4D. And basically, you just import it and you can see that it's, you know, just like that. And it spins. But you can 3D layer it and uh, move it back. Uh, make sure you scale it because it looks gay. So you want to scale it a little and then. Let's move this over. Let's just move it right here for an example and it'll just kinda it'll just it'll be there. You can track anything you want. It can be any object, it can be anything you want at all. I mean you could probably if you're if you have a green screen and you want to track like somebody standing in front of a green screen and you want to chroma key it, heck, just do it. It works. Anything will be tracked. You just have to click 3D layer. So uh I hope this somewhat helped you guys, uh I mean, I'm not really much of a commentator, so I hope you guys could have understood uh, everything I pretty much did here. But uh, I did it all from scratch, all that, all that stuff there. So, thanks for watching.